free-to-play PvEVP survival action shooter in which you'll confront AI factions and other player squads as you explore all the strange goings-on by light of day and fight to survive in the dark of night. Now, let's delve a little bit more into the gameplay, the systems, the setting of The Division Heartland. I've got a developer diary here to show you, and if you watched Ubisoft Forward in September, you may recognize the first little bit of it. But trust me, there is a lot more you haven't seen that I'm going to show you now. Now, now. Hey everyone, we're so excited to show you Heartland, an all new standalone adventure in the Division universe. The teams poured their heart into this game, and we can't wait to share it with you. Welcome to Silver Creek. Heartland's a free-to-play survival action shooter set in the Division universe that features streamlined survival gameplay and a beautiful new world to explore, filled with dynamic PvEVP gameplay. In Heartland, you play as a Division agent, given the task of protecting Silver Creek, a small town in Middle America. It's your job to keep the town safe from enemy factions, rogue agents, and a deadly contamination. Heartland explores what happened to small town America when the green poison was unleashed on the world. While major metropolitan centers got aid from agencies like Sarah in The Division, what help did the Heartland get? This game ties directly into the timeline and introduces all new characters and storylines to the franchise. I'm Keith Evans, Creative Director and Heartland at Red Storm Entertainment. Hi, I'm Taylor Epperly. I'm the Associate Game Director on Heartland. I'm really excited for folks to see what the world of The Division looks like in small-town America. Hi, I'm Carrie Bland, community developer on Heartland, and I can't wait for our players to see all the hard work and dedication the team has put in. We've spent a year in closed tests building on the experience, responding to the feedback we received, and have evolved towards a truly unique and exciting take on survival PvEVP gameplay. Heartland launches with a robust experience for players on day one. The player's first task is to help Mackenzie Reed get Silver Creek's base of operations back up and running. Players will be tasked with completing a set of missions and projects, all focused on the goals of exploring the town and gathering the supplies necessary to help prepare the base of operations. Every mission completed gives players the tools and strength necessary to survive. Silver Creek is a hostile environment filled with deadly contamination, roaming enemy hordes, and the looming threat of sickness and dehydration. Players will have to be prepared if they hope to survive a full day in the town. As day turns to night, Silver Creek is sent into high alert. The survival threat increases and dangerous PvEVP from rogue players and AI is introduced. Night is a deadly sandbox filled with unexpected threats, but there is that constant carrot of great rewards. As players progress, they unlock the ability to select one of three active classes. Every class brings something unique to the table, from the survivalist ability to highlight loot behind walls, to the weapons expert ability to craft and deploy an assault turret. Combining these classes in a squad helps you overcome Silver Creek's toughest challenges. Where one teammate might be falling behind, you really want to make sure that you're picking up that weight. Talking together and working as a true unit is the best way to make sure you're successful in Silver Creek. Heartland features a deadly and unpredictable contamination that makes every trip into Silver Creek unique. To help you in your journey, you'll be able to fabricate supplies, prepare your go bag for each new day, making sure you can achieve even the toughest goals. The contamination shapes the areas of the map that are easily accessible, and using a filter protects agents from the contamination, but the filter depletes pretty quickly inside the contaminated areas. So depending on how many filters you have on hand, you might decide to head into a contaminated area and get some loot that other folks passed up. There's also the ever-present threat of dehydration. Dehydration can slow you down, so you really have to keep an eye out for fresh, non-contaminated water when you're out in Silver Creek. Try to be as prepared as possible. You're gonna wanna set yourself up for success out there. But if you do find yourself a little underprepared, hopefully you have a teammate that'll let you crawl inside their backpack. Who knows, maybe they have juice boxes in there. In Silver Creek, Shade Agents are using the Rocket Rink and Abandoned Roller Skating Rink as their base of operations. For the first time in the Division, the entire base of operations is a shared space. You can socialize, form a group, customize your character, and prep for your next operation. Each session begins and ends in the base of operations, and you'll be talking to Carmelita, Kevin, and Mackenzie quite often. 
Each time players exfiltrate back to their base of operations, they take the materials and gear they've collected and store it in their personal armory to help them prepare for future days in the town. When you're going up against rogue agents, you kind of get into a bit of a cat or mouse situation. For me, I'm definitely more of a mouse. You don't have to worry about rogue agents if they can't see you. There's a couple different strategies you can use against rogue players. I love using Heartland's class skills to set up ambushes, coordinating with my teammates to make sure we're repairing our armor as needed. And then when the shooting's done, I love looking through their loot and taking all the good stuff. Heartland will be a living game. The stories we tell on day one are just the beginning. We can't wait for players to dive in and take this journey with us. We're thrilled to take the next step as we enter our testing phase. Our community team will be looking at feedback shared across social channels and on our official forums, while we evolve our game together with our community, shaping the long-term Heartland experience. The team is committed to creating the best possible experience for our players, and the community is invaluable in helping make that happen. I really think we've created something that the original survival players will recognize, while also innovating with open world operations, dynamic contamination. The team here at Redstorm is proud and feel we're really onto something. Heartland feels fresh and distinct, while still feeling at home alongside the other amazing games in this universe. Thank you for taking this journey with us. We can't wait to have you join us in Silver Creek.